Hi Libra, I hope you're all well. This is your reading for the week going from Monday the 25th of January through to Sunday the 31st of January. Can I just remind everyone this is just a general reading for Libra. Um, if you'd like a full personal reading from me, just click up on the link in the corner. Um, that's the only way to get the proper answers, the real answers to your personal situations. And check out your rising sign and your moon sign. Right, we're starting off with the Knight of Coins this week, and this is in your health position. Um, so it's not about overdoing it this week. It's not about doing, putting loads of hours in at the gym, <laughs> exerting as much energy as you can onto things. It's about small steps going forward. Those are the kinds of things that are going to make the changes in your health life, just taking those small steps. So this week, it is literally being simple, getting enough sleep, making sure you've got enough exercise, but not to excess. Make sure you're including vegetables in your diet and just doing things in small steps that are comfortable for you um, in order to get through the week. It's not about an excess um, of doing anything. The next card we've got is the Ace of Coins. And the Ace of Coins is in your career and finance for this week. Some of you may be moving into a new position. Um, there could be new sets of responsibilities for you in a job. If you're wondering whether or not to leave your current position this week, uh, this card is, encourage, is encouraging you to do that. Um, I think a new position may come up for some of you, whether you're actually looking for it or not. Um, it's really good news and that obviously goes for people who are looking for a job um, and those of you who are already working and have been working for a while they, there's, there's a chance of new positions coming up here new responsibilities new ways of doing things um, adding responsibilities to what you're already doing so it's not as mundane at work there's something else that could come up for you finances uh, money's going to be much more available to you this this week when the Ace of Pentacles appears. You're likely to be able to pay off some of your debts this week or at least keep everything up to date, pay out what you need to pay out. Remember, go and give that homeless guy in the corner a sandwich, give him a little bit of money. What goes around comes around. So when you've got good luck coming in, when you've got money coming in and when you're doing all right, share it around. Next card we've got is the eight of wands now this is in your friends and family and it's the eight of wands in the reverse position um patience is called for this week within friends and family you can't force an issue this week you can't hurry something along you can't push it there might be something that you're wanting to get sorted out within a friends or family situation but you there's not a lot you can do it or do about it um, don't waste your time trying to push it. That's just going to cause more problems. Okay. There's something, for some of you, you may be feeling guilty about something. Um, again, you can't change anything that has happened in the past. Um, if there's something that you did or something that you said or something that you weren't sure about, you can't change the past. The only good thing uh, that a, a case of guilt can create is a change in future behavior so that you then know what you did wrong you know what it is don't beat yourself up about it and be able to move forward forgiving yourself forgiving yourself for some situation in a friends or family position this week is the most important thing okay um it comes up into your conscious consciousness to be cleared it's there for a reason don't ignore it just accept it move through it move forward next card we've got is in your spiritual position it's not the greatest of cards here we've got the ten of swords so when it comes up in spirituality um it could actually it could actually work out well it could be that for some of you you've had some sort of spiritual belief that you've held for a long time and you're going through a bit of a transformation this week and you're letting go of some sort of belief that you had which may have been a blockage which may have been standing in your way which may have stopped you going forward 
uh, getting stuck in a certain belief, stuck in getting stuck in a certain way of looking um, at something spiritual, and you can get stuck that way. Um, but you, hopefully, you're going to be moving past that this week. Um, maybe you always look on the on the dark side of things or the negative side of things in your beliefs and that, and don't really know how to move forward. Well, that's going to turn around this week. Um, so it's actually actually it could be quite a good thing. It might be a little bit painful for some of you to know that you've you know you've gone a along with a belief or something for a long time that it, you know you've realised isn't good for you, um, but you're making changes and that is a good thing this week and the last card we've got is in your love position and it is the star card for this week so that's really good so that's just a yes big fat yes to absolutely everything if you are looking for somebody this week is a really good chance for you that you could meet somebody new um find a new relationship start a new relationship um get out get sociable get mingling with other people um it could happen at any time this week if you're already in a committed relationship, then it's more commitment, it's more fulfilling, it's deeper, you're working as a team together, everything's good. You may move in together, you may be in engagement, married, uh, and if you've already done all of those things, then it's just a nice, comfortable, happy place to be, and the stars are shining down on you. So that's your reading for this week. I hope you enjoyed it. Please like, share and subscribe and I will speak to you soon. Bye.